Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live right here from inside the main build facility of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. The ladies' man's running the camera right now, right off the set and entering stage right is the Master Bub. Morning, Bub. It's Friday. How are we doing today, man? So, so far, pretty good. It's pretty hot outside, to say the least, yes. right? So we're actually, um, me and the entire crew here at BE, and we're actually looking at some of the rides here this morning, and there is a pretty solid lineup of crap sitting around BE right now, and I'm talking some serious, serious stuff. Yes. Everything from this Jeep to the Precision Turbo SEMA 17 Mustang to the Porsche GT3 conversion we're doing right now to some of the Pro Tourings to some of the Resto Mods to some of the straight-up junk. It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Com. The all new Miss Outlaw Boutique, completely online now with better prices, larger inventory, MissOutlawBoutique.com. Orange County Choppers, Orange County Choppers are... Choppers done Bubba style. But this is the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Rough Country Miss Outlaw Boutique Jeep. It is a Jeep JK. You started this project about six weeks ago. You have been around the clock with this Jeep, with the crew, Bub, because last night was the official unveiling of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Miami Marlins and Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Rough Country Miss Outlaw Boutique Jeeps at the Luke Bryan concert. How was it? Did you put a T on the end of his I name? I did again? not. You did? I did not. You said Bryant. No, I did not. Pretty sure you did. We're gonna need to play that back. No, no. Um, so it was actually pretty solid, man. Um, we were parked dead center right up front at the gate, so it was pretty cool when you actually got to walk in and yes. see these things sitting they there. They had them positioned beautifully. Um, yeah, pretty solid, man. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, you know, when, when we do a lot of our Jeep builds, we typically run Jeep JKs anywhere between, you know, from 2007 to 18, right before they hit that JL model line. We typically run these things on like a three to a four and a half inch yes. lift kit on these things. Most of the time, you run between a 33 and 35 inch tire. Some guys like to bump up to 37s if you have that different front bumper for clearance so it doesn't scrub. But I will tell you what, man, when we looked at the Marlins Jeep last night, side by side with this one, that one is pretty massive in itself and its size with the fact that it's running 37 1250s on it. Um, that is on a 20 by 12 inch wide rim. It is on a rough country full suspension, their three and a half inch kit. That was sitting next to this, and let me tell you. I saw, Bub, pictures of hey. it on Instagram of people who were just attending the concert, not just your personal posts and Layla Von Athey's personal posts, but people who were stopping at the Luke Bryan concert to see these Jeeps in person. Yeah. It was amazing, the size difference, Bub. It's amazing from scale, the size difference just right here. Um, uh oh, Kevin uh, Durant says you can bring me that Jeep. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, very much. But there's a lot of really cool stuff on this Jeep. Yeah. All of this was a textured finish when it came from your sponsor, Rough Country. These had textures on them. It was a Kevlar textured finish. Each one of these pieces is finished by hand, not by equipment, but by hand, to to remove that textured finish, Bub, and to give and you repainted it several coats of paint and several coats of clear to give it a very smooth front end appearance. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, you know, it, it took a lot of time, man. It's, uh, you know, this was going very aggressive, but also still very clean at the same time, you know, which is typically what we do in every one of our builds here at BEM, unless we're going super, super client specific. A lot of clients just come to us and they're like, hey, here's what I want. Come up with something. I trust your opinion. Go to town, right? Kind of the case with this one, because we know that this thing is more that clean, that classy, but still want to make this thing as aggressive as it possibly can. This is probably as big as most people will ever go on a Jeep. Um, there are guys out there that go absolutely stupid. They get up into 44s, they get up into you know massive tires on these things, eight, nine, 10 inch lifts. Um, not so much driver friendly once you start getting into that level. This is about at that limit for comfort, for drivability, for safety when you're cruising down the highway, 90 miles an hour. This is like a big animal now trying to drive and you know something that really wasn't meant to do something like that once you start hitting these heights. So you have to build per client each vehicle individually. And this one came together, I think, beautifully. It's very aggressive, but very clean at the same time. Once we got rid of all of that black Kevlar coating on all these parts, the uh, Smittybilt front bumper, the Smittybilt fenders, the body side cladding, the rear bumper, we took all of that Kevlar finish off. And then we went ahead and did them in a base coat, clear coat of the factory gloss white. So it does have that very smooth, clean look, but still very aggressive in its looks. Couple of things, good morning to 
Allison McGinnis out there watching us, Bob, I want to say a couple of the things Bob, that you have done with this particular build is this was a recess for a winch at yeah. one time. You've, you've abbed up a steel plate, 3 8 inch, 3 16 steel uh, yeah, three plate mm -hmm. here and here, and you welded it in, shaved it down, and made it very smooth. You also gave it a Hellcat, a Dodge Hellcat style hood. Yep. which gives it a very aggressive look, along with a face, bub. Every vehicle you build has a face to it. You want it to have a personality. This one has a face as well. Gone is the 3D dimensional style hood, OEM type hood with the Jeep logo on it. You have completely smoothed it out and put eyes in the front of this vehicle. Yeah, you know, it's funny too, because um, you know I'm very brand specific when yep. it comes to building. Um, in terms of like this setup here, of course, Rough Country hooked us up with everything for suspension on this thing. Literally everything that they offer to complete a full-on, most extreme, highest end of the scale price range in terms of the six-inch suspension lift and you know drive shafts, extended front and rear, the uh, off-road series shocks for it. I mean, all of your arms, fully adjustable, everything you could get. What are you doing? But why are you doing that again? Every show, this is what he does. Um, so I'll tell you what, man, this thing literally has the highest end of every product on it. Smitty built all of the armor plating around the sides, but this is actually a great combination of a bunch of different products that made this thing come together as what you see now. So it's not just one brand of, say for example, Rough Country. It's Rough Country, it's Smitty built, it is Moto Metal wheels, Understood. it's Nitto tires, sure. it is, uh, the front grille assembly is from Rugged Ridge, the hood is from uh, Duraflex Extreme Dimensions, the light bar, that 50 inch LED light bar up top, that is actually probably, I would say, one of the best buys you could get for Jeep JKs right now, which is Rough Country's LED series lines. We're These gonna... things are 300 bucks, right? No joke, 300 bucks for a 50 inch light bar where they are literally taking out competition. And trust me when I tell you competition ranges anywhere from 700 to $1,500 for the same exact light bar. Bub, I wanna say good morning to the BEM uh, dirt track driver, Mr. Mark Hoppin. He was gonna call in last week, he didn't. Mark, let me know, will you be able to join us on tomorrow's show so I can feature your segment uh, in the write-up before I post it today. Bob, I'd like everybody to see the quality of what you build here in the front end in terms of the lighting. Ladies and gentlemen, these vehicles will light up literally a football stadium uh, when he is done. Every one of his uh, connections, ladies and gentlemen, are plug and play and what has to be welded, for example, the guys uh, can, they literally do the electrical. Watch these steps here, ladies and gentlemen. See the electrical steps, and you can see the LED lighting underneath of it very much like a Cadillac Escalade. All of these are not butt connected together. Close the door they are way. literally welded or um, soldered together as we go. Bub, can we give everybody a look at how bright these lights are uh, so they get an idea of just how much potential you can put out there? You've got to be careful with this stuff, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want to be doing this to people on the road. But this clearly gives you an indication of how bright and let me see if I can do this real quick. The, the ladies' man's clear, right, Bob? I mean, it's right. pretty bright, dude. Let's let's go like this, ladies and gentlemen. That's actually let's a really walk. cool picture. I don't know if these guys. Let's will be able walk to see it. this way. And there it is. This gives you an idea, ladies and gentlemen, of how bright this vehicle truly is. Bob, is there a way to turn off the light bar so I can accentuate the front fascia that you've put on this vehicle? With the light bar off, ladies and gentlemen, we can clearly see the very uh, Hellcat or Demon-esque look that Bub has put with this. As we look at here, the eyebrows and the eyebrows going there, and there they are off again. Notice the LED uh, lights down in the push bar themselves with the padding underneath the push bar down here, the black push bar right here, so that it, if you were to go off-road or something like that, not that the vehicle will see that, but it will be able to handle that, Bub. The suspension, Bub, is very, very technically advanced here. We can see from this side, there you have steering stabilizers and everything on it. You have heat extractors over here, Bub. You have the Kevlar finished lining as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful build, Bub. Yeah, a lot of, uh, you know, really, I guess the way I, I did this thing was a lot of three-toning, man. So it's, uh, you know, of course, black. Um, the interior of this, is, is this was a fully loaded package, so it is all black leather. We did actually do white stitching in these seats, so it does have that black and white color contrast inside with some silver accents in the doors, the armrests, the side panels, the steering wheel, all silver uh, metallic finish. So we have all of that going on. Suspension we left all silver as well, 
And then what we did from the suspension side being silver is we started doing some silver accenting in terms of nuts and bolts. What you see, which is going around the fenders, going around the lips of the rims, everything is in that stainless silver. So it does have a beautiful three-tone of either a matte black, a gloss white, or a stainless finish. Now, Bob, one of the things I'd like to show everybody, good morning to Jack up there in, uh, Ke Kevin, thank you so much for the great things you're saying. Uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, he is saying, Bub, that, uh, that it's a very clean and very nice look. It's very awesome. Jack, good morning to you from out in Ontario, Canada. We really appreciate you joining us, my friend. And we hope you like the Jeep as well. This, th this could do some big stuff up there in the uh, Canadian area up there. Jack says it's very sweet, Bub. Nice. Thank it's, you. It's just the quality of what you build, Bob. And I'm super proud of you, man. Well, you we, know, we have been around the clock, you know, uh, with, with Kenny and with Nash and you and myself, and nobody got home till three this morning, you know? What? It's a lot. Stop it, dude. Four o'clock. All of you clowns were sleeping by freaking nine, dude. I was the only one out working and cranking and back up at six. I've got pictures to prove it. Uh, yeah, that I was actually working. No, no, by working, do you mean Layla Von Athey on your shoulders, ki uh, leaning down, kissing you? Listen. Or or the four BEM uh, girls hanging out in the truck, uh, uh, didn't even know whose truck they climbed to. It had an American flag and a rebel flag, ladies and gentlemen, and the they just sat back really there, good. but it looks really, the girls look really good. Hey, so back to the Jeeps, right? The Jeep JK model line, right? Um, there's a lot of crazy things we have to do, which kind of goes back into last night. Some of the great things you can do for these things, because I did mention some of the uh, things that you know a lot of people want to do. A lot of people go to these basics, man. Light bars. Everyone loves light bars. They sure. look aggressive. Rough Country's line is probably your best bang for your buck when it comes to a honestly a direct yeah. fit 50 inch light bar. Um, the hoods. Next thing in line, probably hoods, man. Total facelift and total change of the look of the front of these things. Hoods for these things anywhere from three to five hundred bucks. Also from Duraflex or Extreme Dimensions. All of those available at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. We do need to get another hood sent in for the Marlins Jeep because I'm working there on that were today. what I would quote thunder thighs on the hood last night. So oh my God! I saw all the girls, Bub. None of the none of the BEM Miss Outlaw girls are thunder thighs. And well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to verify that, it go is when to there's five of them sitting on the hood. Go no. So Those were all together. The, they didn't weigh 200 pounds. The hood looks I, like I a love waffle. the bottle of Jack Daniels uh, honey in it. That's pretty Jack, good. That was Miss Outlaw Boutique, one of the Outlaw Girls herself. Good morning to Richard and Alicia Torres. Bob, I want to talk a little bit about them yesterday. I walked off the film set yesterday when we finished filming. I walked out and I said, can I help you, sir? There was a gentleman and his wife exiting the administrative offices, which are separate from the build facilities here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsport. Yeah, that's right. It was actually Richard and Alicia. This area, Bub, is home to a lot of celebrities, Celine Dion, uh, Kid Rock, Tiger Woods, Ed Davies, mm -hmm. they, everybody lit Rod Stewart, they all live right here on a place called Jupiter Island, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. The bandit himself, Bandit Darvell, Mr. Burke Reynolds, lives here as well. He lives in a place called Valhalla right off of US-1, Bob. We are having the, in fact, one of the outlaw girls just walked in, ladies and gentlemen. We are have uh, the uh, the big bandit run is happening here. There are a ton of Trans Ams that commemorate the movie That's in right. town, yeah. correct? and Richard and Alicia came over. They were here for our grand opening four years ago. They brought a picture that they took with us, Bob. My heart was touched, man. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, I put a post about it. This is where it all comes together for Bob and I. They brought a picture from Texas with them uh, to have us autograph it, and they were exiting the administrative offices. Richard and Alicia, thank you. It's what we do it for. Mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough, man. And yeah, they, man. Were, they were very complimentary. And hopefully they're out there having a great time right now with right all on, those training right guys out there. I know uh, I know the show's actually at Harborside today, I think in the three o'clock range this afternoon, um, or maybe that was tomorrow. I don't know, but it's going to be a blast. Uh, so we I actually told him how to get to Mr. Reynolds' house. Yeah, we did. So um, let's see, Richard and Alicia say was there yesterday in person. It's an awesome Jeep. Uh, and awesome people. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, guys. Very much. I really appreciate it. That's what makes it all worth it. Jack says Bubba does awesome work. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack, very much. We really hey, appreciate Jack, it. Hey, Jack, if you think this is something, wait till you see what I've got coming the end of probably next week. I've got a lot of things in the back burner that nobody's seen yet. This was one of them, and this thing is still not done yet, but stay tuned for two more rides that are going to line up right ah. behind this that are insane. The Outlaw Girls were out in the event last night. I saw pictures of all four of the Miss Outlaw Girls, bub. They were having a wonderful time. Just get around the fact that they found different people's truck beds to jump into. They liked the one with the southern flag. I loved it, man. Hey. Loved it. Kevin Durant says, Bubba, you killed it on this build, man. Very awesome. Thanks, Kev. 
A lot of people don't know that Bub is considered one of the top three designer builders and fabricators in the world today, and he takes this very seriously. It's why Rough Country and people like that associate themselves with the BEM name and uh, trademark because they know the quality of what they're going to get here. Well, Bob. listen, man, and uh, you know, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, this Jeep is a combination of a lot of great companies' products. It's not just one specific brand. Um, but there is a lot of, I mean, this is really a full variety. Everything from, again, like that rough country kind of um, best bang for your buck entry level versus all the way up to the expense of $1,500 headlights, right? So, and those are all from JW Speaker to the $2,000 amp steps yep. that all, you know, automatically fold down. So there's a lot of like a price swing, but again, at the end of the day, you always get what you pay for, and this is what you see when you put out really strong money, and you do it one step right here. This is it. It was start to finish, one time, one full shot, and the entire crew came together here at BEM and literally killed it on this thing. Probably the past three days, we've been cranking around the clock on this, and uh, you know, really what you would consider probably two weeks worth of a build to do something like this in terms of fenders and paint work and I mean, you can't see the time that goes into it because it does look so clean, but there's probably 30 hours just in this front bumper alone Easily. between there were factory tabs that were mounted on the front of the actual bar, yep. the push bar here for different lights if you wanted to run aftermarket lights. There were holes in the front for different winch setups. There was a hole in the top for different winch setups as well. All of that has been custom modded here at BEM, all ground in so you can never even tell. And then base coat, clear coat, so what you get is a finished product that looks like it's mass production built for this Jeep. Unbelievable. Mark Hoffman, the BEM dirt track driver, says, Tom Lloyd, I'm still waiting for my BEM t-shirt. That's because you haven't gotten here, Mark. It's your fault, not mine. How about that? Miss Outlaw is on the set. Miss Outlaw yeah, and the whole go. crew looked really good. You're going, bub, today. Share with everybody what you're doing today with your best friend. Well, I'm going to go have some lunch and drinks already. It's been a long week. We've been trying <laughs> to get this uh, Jeep built, and we did it. We built it. it was Hello, Miss Outlaw. It was ready last night. She's already getting frustrated off set because we are already late, so Billy and Aaron are waiting for us. We need to go meet them for Miss Outlaw, can I ask why your shirt says less filling? Is what? <laughs> this outlaw says that's how she's feeling. You're not even right on set now. right now, and you keep walking okay. off over there. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to let Bub and uh, Miss Outlaw get out of here. They are meeting with the world-famous chopper builder and Bub's very And we close had to friend. film with this set first, too, because we are driving this down there because Billy does want to play in the Jeep today. Billy Lane, he's an amazing guy. You talk about another success story, Bub. That's right. That's Billy Lane right there. Yep. Tomorrow on the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports show from 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be doing a recap of this build, a recap of the Miami Marlins build. We, I think we're going to have rough country people on with us. The phone lines will be open, and we'll be getting an actual update from the BEM dirt track driver, Mr. Mark Hoffman himself, and his winnings up there in the Maryland area, Bob. That's right. It's going to be an amazing show. Yep. So, Bob, until tomorrow... Just keep on doing it Bubba style. Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, our hearts go out to the Krautheimer family. We lost Charles last night. He was probably one of the most respected and revered columnists ever to wear a newspaper pen in his hand. Amazing, amazing man. He, their, uh, Fox News tonight is going to be doing an update on his life from 9 to 10 a.m. It's an amazing story. He was an, uh, he's a psychology, a psychiatry graduate, ladies and gentlemen, out of Harvard University. And in 78, he made his way to D.C. to take on a government job. He was uh, uh, injured. He uh, was a quadriplegic in a diving accident while at Harvard, ladies and gentlemen. But what he does and what he did for the political landscape and the written journalistic landscape of the world will f be forever missed. Very calm man, very wonderful man. Make sure you see that from 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. Make sure you remember him and all of those less fortunate than us in your prayers tonight. Let's reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive manner, ladies and gentlemen. Let's open the door for somebody whose hands are full. Let's put shoes on somebody's feet who have holes in them. And if somebody's standing at the corner with a sign that says, we'll work for food, Put down that uh, designer cup of coffee, man. Walk across the street, get him a power bar and a protein drink. How about that? Let's do something kind today. Until tomorrow, 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the Bubba's Motorsports Facebook page. 10 million fans can't be wrong. It's the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports show. We leave you with the beautiful shot of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Miss Outlaw Boutique, available online, ladies and gentlemen. Rough Country Jeep JK. Ladies, man, you ready to eat?